world. Yes, Banjo, it's me. It is I, me. Oh my goodness, my life, I am, oh my god, I can't even talk today. Part of me is just casually on my period, another part of me is mentally screaming, another part of me is just like, oh my god. <laughs> I am so excited. But, you know, when you're really excited, you can't really think, so I'm feeling very unoriginal and uninspired, so yeah, I'm doing another Q&A featuring my cat. <laughs> for questions both on Instagram and YouTube and I'm surprised people actually look at my Instagram. I post on there literally like once a year. I go on there when I'm gonna post a picture of myself and have all my exes realize that they made a huge mistake dumping me. Well, the intention of this one was supposed to be a more personal one, but for some reason everybody still thinks I'm a sex worker, so half my questions are about sex work. Yeah, I know. Like, I haven't done it forever, so why do people still think that, Banjo? So yeah, let's get started. What are your top three ways of coping with the real world without using drugs? Well, this is a good question for somebody that doesn't do drugs. I would have to say number one is sleep. Number two is crystals. No, not like crack crystals, but like healing crystals like this. Bitches love healing crystals. Number three, my cat. Oh my god, he's about to throw up. Babe, no. That was disgusting. Good news though, I got him to do it right on a napkin and it was just a hairball. It was not actual. I'm concerned about my son vomit. I'm watching you ever been to Ohio. I think the closest I've ever gone to Ohio is like Illinois. I don't even know what there is to do in Ohio. Like if somebody were to say, let's go to Ohio, what would be the thing that people think to do? Cause I am thinking literally nothing. Cause like if people are thinking, let's go to Iowa, what's there in Iowa? Well, we can look at a cornfield or we can do some meth. Cause that's the hot and things to do around here. How is life? Interesting. How are you feeling? Um, well, right now, I am on my period, so that kind of sucks. My neck kind of hurts, but emotionally, even though I don't even know what the hell is going on, I am thriving. I feel so good. I don't even know why I feel so good. Who knows? Maybe somebody put marijuana in my coffee. Have you ever heard of OnlyFans? If so, have you ever thought about doing that? I'm pretty sure OnlyFans is strictly like, you get naked. Let me double check because my IQ is four and I can't remember anything. Oh, I guess OnlyFans is more than just showing your vagina. I mean, if people are honestly expecting me to like get back into sex work, this isn't gonna work out. But people honestly just want plain old vanilla ass pictures of me. I don't have the energy to keep up with sex work if that's what you're honestly expecting. Like, it's a lot of effort. I don't have the time or the patience or the motivation to even shave my legs because of my back pain. But yeah, I'm not getting back into sex work. They also do it, make it strictly. You can clearly tell that. No sex work. Maybe I should try it because according to the thing, if I only charge $5 a month with my almost 10,000 followers, I could earn between $4.99 and $24.95 per month. Oh my god. I would love to earn $500 a month doing selfies. That would be really nice. Oh my god. I would love to make $2,400 a month. Oh my god. That's like a lot of money to me because like right now I only make like half that amount and I work a ton. Hi bitch. Hey slut, what's up? Why you like this? I don't know. Maybe it's just the way God, the universe, whatever you want to believe in just made me like this. My lips feel really crusty. Out of everything in the world, what are three things, real or imaginary, you feel describe it, connect with you? Oof, that's a deep boy. Um, I have to think about that for a minute. Okay, I got it. Music. I love music. Would that count? Music's real. I don't know. I feel like I really connect with music. I would really like to be a musician someday. That's part of my motivation for moving back to California. Can't wait. Cats, especially mine. My cat is the exact clone of me, except I don't throw my hairballs up on the ground. And I don't know what for the third one. I can't really think right now. That's like just a really good question. It got me stumped. It got me thinking. Let's just do oil since I'm such an oily person. Like you can literally just like take my face on a pan, fry an egg up with a soy cochina. If money were no object, what would you spend your time doing? Oh my God, literally if I didn't have to work, I would still be doing YouTube videos, but I'd definitely be sleeping a lot more and I'd be traveling a lot more. I wouldn't mind working as long as it was something that I was truly passionate about. Cashiering is what I do full time right now. I'm not passionate about taking something, sliding it across the scanner, having it beep and make your total go up a little higher. It's boring, it's repetitive, and for whatever reason, people get mad at you for every little thing that you do. Like, I'm sorry that you didn't read that tag that said the sale 
expired four days ago. It's just, you know, we're all only human here and sometimes we miss a sale take when we're taking them all down. Can we have a more detailed life update? Well, <laughs> Excuse me. That was attractive. I cannot do those right now because I'm taking that old roommate to court. Even though legally he's not supposed to be watching my YouTube videos or having other people watch my YouTube videos and tell him all about what I'm saying, I just don't want to risk it before I go to court because I'm trying to sue him. He's just a scumbag. If I were to just let him run me over, he's gonna do it to another person. I gotta be the boy that stands up and makes it right. Oh yeah, I'm also seeing one of my favorite bands soon. I'm super excited for that. Oh my god, you have no idea. I'm like a little fangirl in here. And if that's too personal, watch your song ours. Tegan and Sarah, Tegan and Sarah, Tegan and Sarah. I'm seeing them live. I'm seeing them live. I'm seeing them live. I was only able to get no split seats. It was such a nightmare trying to get tickets. Oh my god, but I'm finally seeing them. I'm about to cry because it's like, oh my god, I'm finally seeing them. I need to back in jail. The next two months of my life just made me go, what the fuck? <laughs> Where are you moving? I plan on moving to California, even though, you know, I old roommate insisted that he's gonna do everything he can to keep me here even if it means sabotage you know kind of like how he's doing now because i had originally been planning on leaving in may what a fucking scumbag how many sex toys do you actually own well i used to own a lot more but somebody broke into my apartment and they took the most random things and some of the things they took were my sex toys they did take my laptop they did take my camera you know things are actually worth some street value they took my sex toys a good chunk of my my scrunchie collection and pictures of my ex. What the fuck? Literally the only toy I have accounted for right now is my wand. For whatever reason they didn't take that. Do you only like men and have you ever been with a woman? Honestly I don't really like people based on their sexuality. I like them based on their personality and what they offer me because I'm one of those people that believe that a relationship should have some sort of like value to it. It should be there to enhance your life. That's mainly what I go for. I... Don't know how else to describe it. I've never been with a woman because basically the only women that hit on me are like trash women and I don't want to be with that. Are you happy in this life? I'm not happy, but I'm also not sad. Right now I'm more like excited and pissed because you know, I get to see my favorite band in concert, but I have to see my roommate first because he's a fucking scumbag. Kind of pissed off about that. He's trying to hold me hostage here. Huh? I'm gonna keep on repeating myself. When was the last time you did a cam show? I do not have an exact date because it's literally been years. I'm not a sad worker anymore. I've either been not working at all in general or I've just been working retail as a cashier. I'm not a sex worker anymore. I sound like such a bitch when I'm all like, I'm not a sex worker anymore. But it's true, I'm not a sex worker anymore. Who's your favorite Aussie ho? Well, obviously not you. Just kidding, you know I love you. You're the one that I first shoot all my hoe investigations to. Cause you know me, Holly Ann. Professional hoe hunter. Do you lie often? I try not to lie because I view lying as a sin. Plus, nobody likes getting stuck in that awkward situation where they lied about something and then like, literally like, you told them like, the person like, you know that thing, you know what I'm talking about. Nobody wants to get stuck in that. If you could only masturbate with one sex toy for the rest of your life, which one would you pick? Oof, good question. Um, I probably have to pick the Wild G, mainly because as I said in my favorite sex toy video, it has clit and G-spot stimulation, and it's battery powered, so I can literally take it anywhere. I can masturbate in the middle of the woods and be Gucci. You can't do that with a wand because you gotta plug them bitches in. What kind of music do you like? I love lesbian rock music. More specifically, Tegan and Sarah, who I'm seeing live in a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm just really excited, and when I'm really excited about something, I can't shut up about it. What are a few things you'd like to do in your lifetime? Number one is get married, but they have to be like really monogamous. That's like the main thing I look for, along with like have a decent stable job, but for whatever reason, it's really hard finding somebody that is truly monogamous, which kind of shocks me. See, because everyone's like, oh my god, cheating sucks. I'm <laughs> home. But you have to go and do it themselves. I know, right, Banjo? Like, what the fuck? Such hypocrite. I don't have time for that. I know, Banjo. I cannot believe how scummy they are. Somebody And then to finish up this Q&A, um, uh, I posted another thing on Instagram. The foot fetish people got a hold of my IG. I don't know why, since my feet, I'm looking at them now. They are not cute. First of all, I need a pedicure. I don't really know how to cut toenails, dude. I have to like bend over and it hurts for me to bend over. Yeah, 
you know, my back. My right pinky toe, ever since I broke it last summer, the way it grows is freaking weird looking. Like, I'm looking at him right now, and it's like, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? Why are you growing like that? Dude, you okay? Like, do we need to talk? But I'm gonna answer their questions, because, you know, they asked me them, what size are my feet? Um, I really don't know, because I have corns on my feet, and I guess that means that you're not wearing the right size shoes. But traditionally, I go for a size 7, because that's what I feel is the right size of shoe but I don't really know until I go to a professional shoe fitter person and get my size determined. Have you ever had your toes suck? I don't know who on earth would want to put these in their mouth, especially in the condition that they're in now. Do you have any fetishes? Yes, extreme monogamy is my fetish, along with having a decent, stable job. A lot of people really want to know how I am doing, really. I've been asked this more than once. Oh, besides my neck pain and the fact that oh, my period's the first day, my cramps aren't bad. Like, what's going on? It's kind of happy, though. Besides that, it's just like, I don't even know. It's like, I I feel so good, but at the same time, it's just like, I feel good. Favorite movie. Oof, it's been like 10 years since I've seen a movie. I'm gonna say emoji movie. Oh, another person I want to me to do a video on my ex-roommate. Yes, I promise. I will make a video on my ex-roommate after I leave the state because I'm honestly afraid of him coming to kill me. I don't think he knows where I work, but I don't want to risk it. And I'm also kind of scared because he does know where my mom lives. My therapist says that I'm just being paranoid because that's a normal part after being traumatized. Obviously, he's not too sane with all the shit that he pulled, so like, I don't even know. My mom's a Leo, so she'll just start him on fire. But me, myself, and I, I'm like 95 pounds, and I'm a Pisces. What am I gonna do? Drown him in tears? <sighs> this is kind of weird, because this might be the last video in this bedroom. I just feel so weird, because like, I'm leaving. I still can't believe it. This is just, oh my god. Like, my life, it feels like I just want to be there already because it feels like it's going too slow, but at the same time, it feels like it's going too fast, and I feel like court tomorrow, and I have nothing together, and I'm kind of freaking scared. But you will get your complete life update. You will get your stalker video. You will get everything you ever wanted from me except for me naked because do you really want to look at some bitch that has, like, crust on her asshole naked? I mean, if you do, that's nice. <laughs> I can't really think of anything else to say. Life is crazy, dude. You wake up one day and you're 40, and then the next day you're dead. But don't worry, I'm not either of those yet. So, I'll see you soon. Love you. Don't forget to subscribe if you have a nizzle. Watch my life vastly improve after I leave. I'm gonna miss my mommy, though, but I'll see her again soon. Love you. Bye.